What is up? Okay. We will find out. <laughs> All right. Um, I hope you're doing well. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Half the damn deck. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's, let's grab all these guys. Okay. Well, damn. <laughs> we have the devil as the first energy out on the board. Um, well, that means that you're probably in your ego a bit. Um, it's kind of like a false confidence. Like, uh... A false self-love, a false, you know, something. It's almost like in order to manipulate, um, or you, you want to manipulate uh, people's perceptions of you. Um, you know, real self-love requires real work, real self-discipline. So if you're lacking that, then it's kind of egoic. Um, I don't like the way that he's puppet mastering this guy down here. I don't like that imagery. I'm going to be real. So let's keep going. <clears throat> and we have this strength card. We also have, if we look at it this way, we have Capricorn. We have Leo. Um, so I don't know. You might have Capricorn in your chart. They're also an earth energy. Um, the strength card, though, it's like, I feel like you see strength in this, like going into your ego. Because, like, something needs to heal here. The Four of Swords. Like... I feel like your confidence took a hit with something. Knight of Wands in reverse tells me that I feel like you want to say something um, to somebody or you tried to say something to somebody because you didn't want to walk away from a situation with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Uh... To this high priestess, right? Yeah, so somebody who is very divinely guided, somebody who has the art of discernment, somebody who can see right through you when you're in this energy, right? So, all right, let's see. Yeah, the Empress in reverse. I feel like that energy is kind of like saying like, This isn't your empress. You know? Because it's kind of the opposite of the high priestess. Um, that isn't your empress. Or, on the flip side, maybe you chose somebody else. Um, somebody who you thought would kind of... Like, their image was similar, but, like, their spirit was not the same, you know? And I, I don't know. Um... Two of Swords, though, tells me that you would be at more, more at peace with them, right? The Justice card says that this is all completely fair, right? This is the balance. Um, that's also Libra energy. We have Aries energy. Page of Wands in reverse says that somebody told a lie here. And you're showing up as a Prince of Lies, <laughs> right? I... I'm just going to be real, okay? I love you guys. I didn't want to post this reading yesterday, but it was like, it, this reading keeps coming up. And so I have to fucking do it. I'm not going to keep withholding my readings because I don't want to tell you something that sucks to tell you. But here it is, you know? The Page of Pentacles, it's like good news is coming in. Some There's an offer coming in for you, right? Um... Yeah, dude, and you're, like, and it, this could also be a rebalancing of the self, right? Like, if you see the way she's, like, holding on to that and balancing, right? This could put you right into emperor mode, right? 
Were you, you know, and if this high priestess was not your empress, was not your divine counterpart, that would make sense. You know, like you were trying to invest something into somebody, trying to use your ego on somebody that requires authenticity, right? Um, with the lover's card, I see divine union, right? Um, I see you showing up as having that. Three of Wands, though, tells me that there's a third party situation. So maybe you tried to juggle two people, your divine counterpart with a high priestess. Um, and I don't feel like your empress is super happy about that. Um, but let's see. Let's see. So, the devil. Let's clarify it. hermit this is actually virgo energy um so in the upright it's kind of saying like you're in um you're in your like sanctuary right you're finding your inner light um sometimes we got to do the shadow work to get there but the reason that you went into your ego though is because somebody didn't love you back it reminds me of that song by uh foxing rory why don't you love me back? Um, yeah, it's kind of like somebody did not reciprocate your feelings and your confidence took a whole fucking hit. And so you try to manipulate the situation, try to control it, trying to um, push it in some direction, right? Um, but you find your strength, right? We've got the strength card here. Um, you know what? I'm going to do this a little bit different because I just want to get to the meat and potatoes of this story. I don't want to go through all of this extra stuff. All right. So... I'm guessing the person you didn't want to have to walk away from, the person that didn't love you back, um, I'm guessing that's the high priestess, because that's not your divine counterpart, right? Yeah, so... Queen of Wands in reverse is kind of the opposite energy of the High Priestess. The High Priestess is very honest and doesn't really talk shit. Whereas the, like, like she might bring, like, a truth to light and it might, you know, whatever. But the Queen of Wands in reverse is kind of like the Empress in reverse. Um, but with the King of Pentacles in reverse, it's like I see you letting go of this and kind of diving into this. But let's, let's do this again. Let's clarify that Queen of Wands in reverse. Why is that showing up? Oh, you said some stuff about her. <laughs> Temperance in reverse. The devil card is the same shit. It's like going into your ego. It's like being like you were mad about something here. Or they were mad about something here. Um, and what you were there. The thing that, <laughs> that was upsetting was this two of cups in reverse, right? 
Two of Cups in reverse tells me that this was a karmic relationship. This wasn't meant to last. You know, the divine counterparts show up as lovers. Uh, the Two of Cups is minor arcana love. That's like karmic love. Um, so it's like you got mad because... Or they got mad. But why, why is this Queen of Wands showing up like this? In reverse. You feel like they didn't even try. You feel like the honest to God truth is that they could have tried, right? With the seven of pentacles in reverse. You feel like they should have tried. You feel like they weren't living their truth when they didn't try, right? But reality says they were. Um, with the knight of pentacles, it's kind of like saying they just kind of fucking cut shit off, you know? Um... And that's why you were pissed about it. That's why your confidence took a hit. You know, that's why we end up in that energy. Um, all right, so let's clarify the Empress in reverse. And you know what, though? You're right. They could have tried. They could have tried, and they could have kept going, but then you still would have ended up breaking up down the line because this was not meant to last, you know? So, I mean, it's a fair, it's a fair statement. It's a fair opinion. Um, I want you to know that I feel like it is very valid that you feel the way that you do about this situation because they could have, but really they did you a favor by not. You know, really they led you closer to this because you were able to let go of this, you know? So, yeah. Um, yeah, four of wands in reverse. Something like, this is like not going out. It kind of goes back into that hermit energy. Like, not, not like doing anything su super like... On maybe, you know, this could be in regards to, um, you know, what's going on with you guys. I mean, because you are, the Empress in Reverse is your divine counterpart, right? So really, they're mirroring your energy. You're in the Hermit, they're in the Hermit, right? This is the real one. The real, the one, right? <laughs> they're out of balance right now because... They feel like they should be creating something, but they're struggling to do that. Whereas you're in the Emperor energy creating, right? It's like, I feel a restoration of yourself. Like you come back, you, you go through this hardship, but you go through a restoration, which helps restore your confidence, which helps bring you back to, you know, who you're meant to be, rebalancing shit, you know, after this breakup, right? And this is a very cut and dry you know, breakup, um, but it's like, whatever you go through, I see your empress going through the same energy here, yeah, death and rebirth, you're both kind of ending a period in your life, right, and what happens as a result is this nine of cups, right, the nine of cups, the lovers, same shit, And then we have Seven of Swords, and I don't like that, right? <laughs> this is like, this is really guarded energy, like ready for a fight, like kind of shady. What is that about? Why is that just showing up out of nowhere? <laughs>
So this is interesting energy. We have the chariot, cancer energy. Um, with the world in reverse, closing the distance. Two of wands in reverse, no longer being um, at a crossroads. But why is this a secret? Why is it a secret that you're moving or leaving a situation? Why are you... Why have we got the swords, <laughs> you know? cycle ace of cups ace of swords ace of wands yeah there's hella new beginnings here you're not telling people about a beginning that you've started the nine of pentacles and the three of pentacles tells me that wherever you're moving to wherever you're going whatever you're going towards is actually a family situation you are going towards this you're moving in with that um Three of Cups in reverse with the Tower, losing friendships here. Um, Page of Swords in reverse. This could be people that you did not like. Um, people that you've said some choice words about or vice versa. Six of Wands, you're looking to get like recognition and um, <clears throat> notoriety. Notability, I don't know. Um, and then with the Five of Swords, this is like... Still that guarded and conflicted energy that kind of pops up with the Seven of Swords. It's like, even though you're moving towards the situation, it's almost like, like, why are you being so hush-hush about it? You know, it's, uh, it's almost like, and whoever you're moving in with or whoever you're moving toward, they're very wealthy, right? They're somebody who could take care of you, essentially, probably, right? I mean, I see that here, you know? And so, and I see you moving towards building a whole life with them. Um, but it's like this energy of, like, being conflicted about it and keeping something a secret. Um, hold on. I got to take a day. Sorry about that. So, yeah, um... Coming back to this, it's like there's just this weird, like, I don't understand why it's a secret or why you're you're kind of like being, the dogs are attacking my son and <laughs> you like fell asleep over there. Um, but yeah, uh, so if you hear him complaining in the back, he's like sleeping and <laughs> the dogs are all up on him. Uh, but yeah, um, anyway, uh, freaking, this is like kind of weird i don't know it's like why is it a secret maybe with the three of wands with the three of pentacles and the three of cups in reverse three 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 maybe it's because you're still trying to leave something open here you know like it kind of looks like maybe you're trying to leave a um A door open to the past, you know? Like, even though you're already building and moving forward, it's like some part of you just is struggling to let go of something. Like, you're very guarded against love. Like, you're very... It looks like you're preparing for battle rather than, like, uh, prosperity, you know? And I want to know why. 
going to ask. Seven of Cups in reverse because you felt like this was the only path for you. You, feel, you felt like you had already made up your mind about the way that you wanted it to be forever. The Sun card comes up. We've got Leo energy now. You've got like everything on the board to be honest. Um, and this is kind of saying like, like you will be happy, <laughs> you know, like you'll be prosperous. Things will be fine. Um, the judgment in reverse. Yeah, you probably had a lapse of judgment with the Six of Cups. It's, I feel like there's like a third party energy here. Like maybe you kind of juggled, you know, but then, I don't know. I don't know. I just see two energies here, the Empress in reverse with the High Priestess. And it's like, I see you moving towards your Empress, um, but keeping some things to yourself, right? Like, and with the Six of Cups, I feel like, you know, maybe, maybe you have a kid with one of these people or, um, Maybe you're just getting in touch with your inner child. But what's this lapse in judgment? Oh shit. Okay, so, the Wheel of Fortune happens, right, where um, there was a time when you were, were feeling very fortunate, things were good, whatever, I don't know if this is in your in your future, whatever, but it's like things are good, and you walk away from a situation, right? Um, Four of Cups. Things didn't feel, like, you started feeling like you couldn't see the magic in life, right? But somebody offers you this, like, little adventure or whatever. Something to bring the life back into you. But it's like, you have to kind of turn around to see it. You need to stop looking where you've been looking. Two of Pentacles, you have a decision to make. Ten of Cups in reverse. You decided to let go of the past, right? We already talked about your breakup. We we talked about the Two of Cups in reverse. You know, you let go of something that you felt like was forever. That was your only um, thing. Here's the lapse in judgment, right? Because while they were in, like, well, one of you is in the Eight of Pentacles energy. Um, and I'm seeing a feminine here. And I've been, you know, reading you as the masculine. So, however the energy fits, put it where it belongs. But, um, you know, it's like the feminine is, like, working on, like, there's a feminine energy here. Just, like, working on themselves, trying to master something, trying to cultivate something. And then with the magician, I see kind of this devil energy again, right? Where it kind of pops up. And it's like... The magician is all about weaving illusions, right? And manipulating and trying to control situations. Trying to be the all-powerful source, you know, source here that kind of determines the fate of anybody around them. Kind of energy, you know? Um, it's like not giving anybody else an option for their lives because your, your, pers your dominance of their lives is more important to you. Okay, I'm just telling it like it is. You know if this isn't you, if this is the person you're dealing with, whatever. Um, <clears throat> but the magician keeps secrets, right? And, you know, I keep go coming back to this Three of Cups in reverse with the Three of Wands and... What was the other one? And the Three of Pentacles, right? And I just feel this third-party energy. Like, maybe you were trying to, like juggle two people or maybe you know like you went straight from one into another and you're trying to hide that other one but there's some weird third party energy here and secrets right manipulation control like you wanted to have dominance over everybody's life that was in your 
you know, realm or whatever within your, you know, it's like you wanted to control all of their universe. Like, no, nobody gets to do anything um, outside of what you wanted to happen, right? Um, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of interesting energy. Um, so, I feel like you got to work on yourself a bit. <laughs> I feel like if there's a third party situation here, you know, like, first of all, you sh there's no choice, right? Like, bottom line, go with the second one. Leave the first one. <laughs> like, just leave them in peace, you know? Like, go on with to the next one. I see you moving. I see you with the chariot and the tower. It's like, moving forward because something didn't pan out, you know? And it's going to be fruitful. Whatever you go towards, you're, it's going to be fruitful. But it's also saying, like, you need to pull your fucking claws out of this person. Um, in a nice way. <laughs> um, like, choose the second person. They want to be your counterpart. They want to have a future with you. I mean, they are your counterpart. They want to have a future with you. Um, they just feel like you haven't given them the opportunity to grow with you. You know? And, um, you know, they think about you. Right? So, it's like, it's okay to let go of the past. Because it looks like the High Priestess is kind of busy. <laughs> like, it looks like she's doing her own shit. Just not even focused on this issue at all. This is really just what's going on in your world. Oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Ah. Um. <laughs> I knew it. Um. But yeah, so let's get you some advice. Um. It's really, it's, nobody's the bad guy here. Well, I mean, the secrets, the manipulation, the control, it's not good. But I don't believe anybody's a bad guy. I feel like, um, you did that out of feeling a lack of control within yourself. Like, and you're like, maybe I can control all the outcomes, <laughs> you know? And it's kind of, you know, you play God and then you get some judgment. It's whatever. Um, you figure out the way all humans figure out eventually. Um... I don't think you're a bad guy if you are that person. I just feel like you're in a bad space. Um, and, you know, you're at a learning curve, right? It's time to learn. It's time to develop. It's time to heal and grow. And it's okay to be a little more broken. You know? It's okay because strength will be renewed, right? And then we've got this strength card here. You're very fucking strong. You know, you're going to be fine. You can overcome anything. Black Wands Redemption. You're going to have a comeback, bro. Life is going to be awesome for you. You know? There just ain't shit to worry about. Independence. You know? Destroy an angel, you know, that's kind of literally the devil card. So, I mean, it keeps coming up. That's something that I feel like you should address. Oaken doors, you got this. You can handle this. Commemoration tells me that, like, it's okay to commemorate the past, to appreciate it for what it was, to forgive it for what it wasn't, you know, and just kind of move forward. And then with unity, ultimately, you will have all that you want, you know? Ultimately, it's all going to come full circle. You just have to release what isn't working, you know? What isn't working. Um, nobody here is, like, evil or anything. It's just you got to release what isn't working and move towards what does work, right? What does wait for you? What does love you? Um... What does appreciate you? What does love the way you love? You know, and your empress speaks the same love language, right? Like, I get it. With the high priestess, I, I feel like you feel very deeply energetically connected to them. Probably because you guys have done this lifetime after lifetime. But you're fine, you know? Everything's going to be fine. You got this. 
Namaste. I love you all. Catch you on the next one.